Anna? Is that really you, Yuji? Yeah, it's me, your childhood friend. <laughs> what are you doing here? What about work? The that Yuji, are you playing video games again? Let's play outside. I, Motosu Yuji, have a childhood friend. Her name is Agaki Ina. I'm almost done with this level. Let's go to the park afterwards. Okay, I'll keep watch next to you. Huh, that's a lot of pressure. Just hurry up and finish the level. Good luck, Yuji. Yay, Yuji! You're very enthusiastic. We live in a well-known countryside. There weren't a lot of children, so naturally we spent a lot of time together. It's hot. Yeah. Did you know, in the city there's an indoor park. Really? Does it retain its identity as a park? Uh, I don't use difficult words. I see. I guess the city has all kinds of things. I want to go shopping on Takeshita Street someday. I want to go to an amusement park. And I want to have our afternoon tea at a cute cafe. And I want to go to a ramen place I saw on TV. So I moved to the city. Well, actually, I went to university and moved to Tokyo. My parents told me it's best to have many acquaintances, so Aina and I chose to live near each other. Because of that, even now as 26-year-old employees, we're neighbors. Hey, Yuji. Congrats on finishing the day. <laughs> you too. Does your job let you wear sleeveless shirts? I'm jealous. I work indoors too, but I have to wear a tie. Even though it's more environmentally friendly to wear lighter clothes and use less AC, businesses can have such outdated thinking. Oh yeah, that's very annoying. At my work, we can even wear sandals, which is nice. That's why I went to the salon and got a pedicure. I said I don't use such difficult words. Like getting my toenails painted? It's not a difficult word. I don't know anything that's popular or fancy. You're so sophisticated, Aina. Clothing that suits her, simple makeup, well-groomed and smooth hair, and a refined conduct. She's always been beautiful, but ever since she got to Tokyo, she's even more charming. Me, on the other hand, I can't escape being unsophisticated. You're popular, right, Aina? Uh-huh. What's this all of a sudden? You're beautiful, so I was thinking you must be popular at work. What? Even if you compliment me, I'm not buying you dinner. I'm not trying to compliment you. I'm telling you the truth. So you aren't complimenting me. What would you think if I were popular? I'd understand. I'd think, oh, of course. That's it. Well, maybe not. I'd want to brag that the popular girl is my childhood friend. Uh... Mm -hmm. That's not what I wanted to hear. That's definitely not right. Huh? What was the right answer? Nah, don't worry about it. Well, I'll tell you, I'm not popular. No one has ever confessed their feelings for me. Really? That's weird. Maybe she's seen as too beautiful to achieve, not like in the manga I read. How about you, Yuji? Are you popular? Wow, can't you tell? I've never been popular. Really? Even though you are a really kind and good person? It's not enough to be kind and good. Tomonaga-san, who's a regular in our voiced comics, is a good example. I see. <laughs> Though, I'm also not exactly looking for a girlfriend. Really? Why not? Because it seems like a lot of work. It's easier to be single. But I feel like if you had a girlfriend, wouldn't your fun increase? Hmm. Well... I have been having fun so far. It's not so bad staying single. I, I, I see. Why does she seem sad? Does she feel embarrassed? <sighs> I feel bad. I work at an event planning company. I'm assigned to the general affairs department, so I don't actually get involved in the planning. Excuse me, can I turn in documents related to travel expenses here? Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. Oh my god, Kaltuk is on! <sighs> I wish I could have talked to him. I should have let them do it. Even though I'm not friends with many people, I do know him. He's Kaudaki of the event management department. He's handsome and has really amazing communication skills, so he's the most popular guy in the company. He was born and raised in Shibuya, and lived near the Scramble. But for an introvert like me, 
and I didn't really get along with him. You free this evening? Well, I am free, but there's a mixer later, and we're down one person. Will you join? Oh, I'm a mixer. I'm bad at parties, not to mention not interested in romance, so I'm sorry. Though I'm a little surprised that you're going. Well, I am trying to build a harem. It's hard to have a thought when he says it so directly. The power of a handsome man is frightening. Kotaki-san, I'll wear Gaia's clothes and participate. I'll show you how helpful I can be. Should I summon my father? Their earnestness is also frightening. In this way, being completely disinterested in the opposite sex, I turned down mixes and introductions from friends, but things changed on one hot day after work. Thank you for today, Mototsu. Oh, no, thank you. To be here while everyone is working feels a bit naughty. Hey, can I ask you out again? Yeah, if the timing works out. Yay! <laughs> well, I'm this way, so I'll talk to you later. Yeah, be safe. After seeing her taxi off, I turned around and headed towards the station when... Mm. Ena? Is that really you, Yuji? Yeah, it's me, your childhood friend. <laughs> what are you doing here? What about work? The... Dad... That's what I should be asking you! What? Why are you mad? At this time of night, why are you coming out of a hotel with a woman? Oh, you saw that? I had been visiting a couple's hotel, or more commonly known as a love hotel. Didn't you say you weren't interested in women? Didn't you say that you didn't have a girlfriend? No way, it isn't just a physical relationship, is it? What? What are you talking about? Y yeah Th There's no way you just picked that woman up to hook up with her, right? Can you not say that in such a loud voice in the business district? You lack tact. Oh my god, don't tell me you bought her from a business! No, not at all. Look, I have no idea what you're talking about, but you need to calm down. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, that's good. The reason I came here was for work. We're holding a couples event here soon. Really? But don't you work in the general affairs department? They didn't have enough people, so they asked me to help out. The person who left in the taxi works for the company. Mmm, I see. She was pretty. Oh, I think you're prettier. Uh, huh? Why do you say such things easily, but never what I want to hear? My passive, thick-headed childhood friend. So, how was it? What? That was your first time there, right? Did you feel nervous? Oh, the hotel. Oh, it was surprisingly normal looking. I heard that it had a rotating bed, but there wasn't one. I don't think they do those beds anymore. Oh, uh, I see. You're really knowledgeable. N n no it's just that women share a lot, and that's what I heard. I don't really get it, but you okay with the time? Aren't you headed somewhere? Oh, it's almost time for the get-together. There's a huge party with all the other departments. And there are a lot of strange guys that harass women in this area, so I'll walk you to the restaurant. Oh. Come on, let's go. How can you be so cool yet so unpopular? It's good for me, but... Huh? Nothing! I went home after taking Aina to the restaurant. I was completely exhausted because I wasn't able to get used to the event planning process. I guess I should do some research on the event at the couple's hotel. I'm glad Aina had never been there before. Huh? Glad? Of what? Huh? Do I feel relieved? Why? I don't have many friends I can talk to about it. But for these purposes, I do talk to a chat AI. Can you give me advice? I feel relieved when my childhood friend told me she had never been to a love hotel. I think you felt relieved that she had not belonged to anyone else. This feeling is derived from love? Love? What is love? Carp are a large type fish that can be found in rivers, ponds, swamps, lakes, irrigation canals, etc. Where the flow is relatively slow. Oh, I don't need a joke right now. Do I love Aina? Can I be in love with my childhood friend? Wait, she also seemed relieved when I told her I was at the hotel for work. Which means that she must also love me. How do I test if someone has feelings for me? There are a couple of options for testing someone's feelings. One, 
observe the person's gaze and behavior, two, ask them on a date, three, ask their friends and family, or four, ask them directly. Hmm. I'm not really able to decipher behavior, and if I ask her out, she might think it's a friend date, and I don't know any of the contact information of her friends. Uh, I guess I have no other choice than to ask her directly. This is my first time in love, so there's no point in going on and on and thinking about inconsequential things, so I decided to go tomorrow, Saturday, to her house. Excuse me. What's up? I was surprised by your text yesterday. I have something I need to ask you. So, so... So? I was wondering what you think I think about you. Huh? Y you're asking me that? Well, so, there were two things, but I have one I want to hear the answer to more. So, um... Hmm. What do you think about me? I'm not going to tell you until you tell me how you feel about me. Please tell me. You know how thick-headed I am. Then I'll help you think about it. Do you like how I look? It feels kind of sad to ask it. Yes, I like it. I think you're incredibly beautiful. Thank you. Okay, the next question. Oh, um, of course. Otherwise I wouldn't still be hanging out with you at this age. Uh, does your heart race when you're with me? Race? I don't think so. What? That's like the most important factor! I mean, can your heart even race with someone you've been with since you first became conscious? Y yeah true. But in the past, my heart used to race a lot. R really Let's go home, Yuji. Every time she smiled, turned around and pouted, my heart raced. I'm going to college in Tokyo. How about you? I'll go to Tokyo. I see. I not only went to Tokyo because I was enamored by the city, but because Aina was going to be here. I must have gotten too used to my heart racing for her. Though at this age I'm really inexperienced at love, I can at least say, I don't want you to go to a hotel with anyone. What? <laughs> I've never heard that pickup line before. D don't laugh so much. I thought about it in my own way and mustered up the courage to say it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Then, I have one more thing that I want you to say. Like what? Like, I want to take you to a hotel? I can't say that. Oh, you're so pure. Uh, super pure. <laughs> Whoa. I'm so happy. <laughs> Don't smile so much. It's weird. So cute. Oh, this feeling, I guess it could be my heart racing. I was blushing and holding Aina as she smiled. Can you take care of this paperwork? Of course, I'll take that. I finished helping event planning and returned to the general affairs department. It turns out the event at the Love Hotel was popular. Hey, there's another mixer today. Wanna come? Oh, sorry, I can't. I have a girlfriend. What? I thought you said you weren't interested in romance. Well, congratulations. Oh, I'll give you this. Huh? I'm home. Welcome home. Since we started dating, we started spending the night at each other's house. I met with Aina's friend the other day, and she said we were like an old married couple. We've known each other for 26 years, so I suppose that's natural. Having your heart race is important, too. I got this discount from a co-worker. Want to stay here? Oh, th 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 this is... There's no rotating bed, but if you're okay with that... Don't be so relaxed about it just because you've been inside one! What are you so competitive about? As for the next date, well, I'll leave it up to your imagination. Morning! Good morning! Kunisaki-san, why is your hair always so silky? Is it? Maybe because I spent a while on hair care last night. I would love to know what products you use. Okay, we can talk about it over lunch. Her fans are all over her again. Well, that beauty over there. Her name is Hiromi Kunisaki. She's respected and admired by everyone at my office. 
Not only is she pretty, but she has a great personality. Plus, she's a 29-year-old and already a manager. People say God loves all humans equally, but I'm pretty sure God loves Kunisaki-san the most. She's practically a goddess. I'm Tomohiko Hayami, and I'm 25 years old. I'm not her biggest fan. Good morning, Hayami-kun. You're working already? Wow, I respect your dedication. <laughs> uh, thank you. Uh, she's too bright for my eyes. I don't like it when she sits next to me. I can't handle that much beauty up close. It's not Kunisaki-san's fault that I feel uncomfortable around her. I don't do well around pretty women. The reason? My two sisters. I'm home! Tomohiko! Ugh, why are you here again? What's wrong with us visiting our parents? If you don't want to see us, just move out. Hey, I, I texted you earlier. Did you see it? Huh? No. Can you get me some sanitary pads and tampons on your way home? Oh, and a can of Chew High, too. Why would you ask your brother to buy that and get your own Chew High? Tomihiko, you're mean. We're supposed to help each other out. Except you guys never help me. I can never win when they team up like that. My older and younger sister, we have the same parents, but they inherited good DNA traits unlike me. Everyone I know is jealous that I have such attractive sisters. They put on a sweet face to others. That's why nobody believes me when I tell them that they're rotten. Do you see why I don't like pretty people? They can get away with anything. One day at the office, talk about a new project reached my ears. I'll be in charge since this is our first time working with the Bato Company. Hayami-kun, you'll be assisting me this time. Uh, me? Yes, you're finishing up in your main task, so you'll be free soon. You sit next to me. It'll be easier for me to discuss things with you. Great, I'll do my best. Wonderful, we got this. Oh, her aura is sparkling. This means I'll have to talk to her more. That sucks. I'm jealous, Hayami-kun. I would have killed for your spot if I didn't have my duties. Hayami, let's try positions! I knew they would react this way. I would trade positions if Kunisaki-san would let me. You guys, I know you all have more important things to do. Anyway, morning meeting is over. Let's have another great day. Yes, yes ma'am! Ma and so, I began to spend more time with Kunisaki-san. Both of my sisters are considered pretty, but Kunisaki-san is on a different level. Her aura is overwhelming me. I'll focus on my computer screen. Wow, look at Hayami-kun go! I get why! He's motivated because he's working with Kunisaki-san! Ugh, Kunisaki-san is my boss. It's tiring working with her all day. It's a Friday. I should reward myself for the week. Hi there. Oh, Hayami-san, it's been a while. How are you? Nachan, it's good to see you. Can I get a beer? And some snacks of your choice? Of course. This izakaya is my favorite place to eat. It's called Utana Izakaya. I enjoy every moment I spend in here. It has a homey atmosphere, and talking to Nachan is good for my tired soul. The Matsu Nikomi here is the best. Welcome. I'm sorry all the tables are occupied. Will a counter seat be okay? Sure. Nachan usually spreads customers out evenly, but Fridays are always busy. A woman sat down in the counter seat next to mine. Uh, hello. Hi. Mm, she's here alone? She has casual clothes on. I wonder if she's from around here. Hey. Hey, are you talking to me? Yes. No honorifics. I guess she's the friendly type? Hmm, how strange. I don't find it offensive. It's probably because she's so plain looking. It's nice to have someone like her next to me instead of my perfect boss. That dish, where is it on the menu? Oh, it isn't. The Izakaya manager makes it whenever he feels like it. Nachan, do you guys still have some Matsu Nikomi left? Yes, we do. They do? Thank you. Can I have one and a beer, please? I'll be right back with it. Do you come here often? Maybe about once or twice a week. But things at work have been hectic. I haven't been here in a while. Is work... Stressful? Um, the work itself isn't too bad, but there are some issues. I see. Would you be willing to drink with me? I would love to hear more about it. I've never had a girl ask me that. Well, she seems easy to talk to. Sure, I would love to join you. Just then, the woman's beer arrived. Okay, cheers! Great, cheers! 
The woman told me she recently moved to the area. Apparently, she found the place during a walk and decided to check it out. Do you live close by? Yes, I live with my parents. We've lived here my whole life. But I'm thinking I should move out. My sisters are always bugging me. You have sisters? Tell me more. She let me vent about how stressful living with my sisters was. We kept drinking and I was having the time of my life until... <sighs> Ouch, my head. Am I hungover? What the? Where am I? This definitely looks like a woman's room. Huh? Oh my gosh, what's going on? I have my clothes on. Wait, where are my pants? No way, what did I do? Did I get wasted? Maybe the woman I met yesterday took me home to take care of me. But I'm on her bed. Does that mean what I think it means? Oh my gosh, so he you idiot! First things first, I need to talk to the woman. Oh, you're awake. Uh, huh? You don't have to wake up yet. If you're already up, there's some water and miso soup in the dining room. Uh, I appreciate it. Wait, what? Why, uh, why is Kunisaki-san here? I wonder what happened to the woman from the Izakaya. Uh, um... Yes? Are we at your place, Kunisaki-san? We are. Then why... Uh, how did I end up here? You had too much to drink yesterday, don't you remember? You didn't seem that wasted, but I guess you were. I had a great time last night. Thanks for spending it with me. We should go back to that izakaya sometime soon. Huh? No way! What? What? The woman I had drinks with yesterday night? Huh? That was you, Kunisaki-san? Yes, it was. Wait, you didn't know it was me? Well, you look like a completely different person. I don't dress up 24-7, Tomohiko-san. Especially when I'm eating out alone. I prefer comfortable clothes. Oh, I get it. Guys wouldn't leave her alone. Wait, this is no time for a conversation like that. You got drunk and spent the night at your boss's place. What are you doing, Tomohiko? But please forgive me for whatever I have done. Why are you apologizing? We wouldn't have ended up like this if I hadn't given you my consent. Consent? What the hell did we do last night? I have to go to the office today. Make yourself at home. You can put my keys in the post box when you leave. Feel free to use the shower room. Um, okay. I'll see you soon. I'll call you later, Mr. Boyfriend. What? This can't be happening. But isaki san just kissed my cheek. What does she mean by my boyfriend? Calm down, you have to get over it. The audience is getting tired of your panic attacks. Wait, how do I do that? I walked to the table and dragged the miso soup to calm myself. Kunisaki san's miso soup was delicious. I know, I can ask Nachan what happened at the Izakaya yesterday. I walked into Yutana Izakaya the moment it opened. Welcome. Hey, Hayami san, congratulations. Hi there, Nachan. What are you congratulating me for? Well, I'm talking about your relationship status, of course. Tencho, thank you. No, stop. This is no time to be drinking. G girlfriend? Wait, can you tell me exactly what happened last night? You were having a conversation about your pretty sisters with the woman sitting next to you, and then... Hey, I think I like girls like you. I feel so relaxed and comfortable talking to you. Aw, that's so sweet. I thought you hated me, though. Do you want to go out? Are you sure? Yes, I feel comfortable around you, too. Should we go somewhere private? That's a wonderful idea. Let's go! Nachan, can you give me a cab? I have a girlfriend now. We need some private time. And then you and the woman left at a cab. What? What the hell was I thinking? But I wasn't lying. Being next to her felt right. I had so much fun last night. I wanted to spend more time with Kunisaki-san. Maybe I should try talking to Kunisaki-san at the office. To see if I feel the same way. But I can't handle her beauty. What am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> oh, my phone just vibrated. I just left the office. Do you want to grab dinner? You could stay over tonight if you want. Kunisaki-san, she's so forward. Uh, I'm sorry, I have plans tonight. Hmm, no. It sounds like I'm running from her. The right thing to do would be to talk to her. Nachan, I should go home now. Let me pay for this beer. That was your girlfriend, wasn't it? You're going to go see her? Uh, sure, I guess so. I asked if we could meet up somewhere to talk. Kunisaki-san reserved a private room at a nice restaurant. Isn't that champagne here great? Um, yes. Ugh. 
I'm at a fancy restaurant with the most beautiful woman I've ever met. I can't breathe. So, um, I think we need to talk. Of course, we're in a relationship. Communication is key. Relationship, huh? It's about what happened last night. I owe you an apology. I didn't know it was you when I agreed to go out with you last night. So, I can't continue to be your boyfriend. Uh... Is she angry? She must be furious. I'll let her slap me one, no, two times. I guess it didn't work. Huh? I already know your reaction this morning. It was pretty obvious you didn't know it was me. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. I know that you had no idea you were asking your boss out. But it was an opportunity for me. I didn't want to waste it. <laughs> I know it's bad. Kunisaki-san? Were you okay with the fact that we were dating? Of course, I've always despised being the center of attention wherever I go. I feel comfortable around you because you never lionize me. I can relax when I'm with you. I had no idea you felt that way with me. Oh well, too bad I've been dumped. I'll get going now. I'm not strong enough to enjoy dinner with you after getting rejected. I've never seen Kunisaki sound like this. I'll see you at work the day after tomorrow. Okay, we have a lot to do. You're home! Hey! Oh? My sisters came out to greet me as soon as I got home, but they didn't bother me. I'm glad they could take a hint. They must have realized something was wrong. Monday. I usually arrive early, but I waited until the last moment to step into the office. I hope things don't get awkward between us. What happened? She's a different person. They're all talking. I wonder what's going on. What? Kunisaki-san? She's not dressed up for work! Oh, Hayami-kun! Can you believe it? That's Kunisaki-san! Oh, I see. Believe me, I get what you're feeling. Her change in appearance must have something to do with what happened between us. Uh... Kunisaki-san, can I have a moment with you? Sure. What the heck is going on? They disappeared into the meeting room together. Once we arrived at the meeting room, silence took over. Work starts in about three minutes. Why am I here? I'm sorry. Why are you dressed like that, Kunisaki-san? Do you have to ask me? I wanted to do something to get your attention. <laughs> I know this sounds pathetic, but I can't seem to let go. I want you to like me, desperately. I hoped you would feel something if I appeared as the woman you'd met at the Izakaya. How can you be so nonchalant about it? I've never had somebody be so forward with me. I have no idea how to handle situations like this, but I I'll take this seriously. Appearances aside, I think there was a big possibility I could fall for you. Yami-kun. <laughs> you know, that kind of sounds like you already have feelings for me. Oh! Kunisaki-san returned to her beautiful self soon after. Everybody at the office was stumped. However, they seemed happy she was back to herself. We started texting more often and went out to dinner whenever we got off work early. And... A month after we started dating, I introduced Hiromi to my family. Tomihiko's girlfriend? Seriously? There's no way this is real! Hey, don't be rude! <laughs> I fell for Tomohiko first, so... No, no way. way! I would love for them to be my sister-in-law. Are you sure? They're obnoxious. I admire how you're all so close. Three years later, Hiromi and I got married. We're about to become a family of three. Hey, uh, Kuroyoshi-san? What's up? Don't you think it's kind of outdated to still be stamping paper documents in 2023? Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about it. <sighs> the person with the irritated face is me, Sakai Minato. I'm working as a 30-year-old manager, but the average age of the company is pretty low, so I'm nothing special. The cool-looking beauty is Kuroyoshi Miwa. She's only 27, but she's better than me. She just moved here last year but everyone relies on her. Ugh, all right, I'm done stamping. Good job. It's already this late? Yeah, wanna eat lunch? At the office cafeteria, I mean. Yeah, sure. Today's lunch special was Uta-chan's heart-stamped omelette rice, so the cafeteria was pretty packed. My morning was just checking documents, 
This is not even part of my job description. It takes a long time because you are checking word by word. Manager Kaodake, who's next to you, doesn't even check the contents before he stamps. Most people just skim. Hmm. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of effort was put in by others to make this document. <laughs> huh? I really like that part of you. Th thank you. Well, for the first time in a while, I was caught off guard. Kuroyoshi-san is a cool beauty. Not to the point that it is off-putting, but she always has a relaxed face. That's why every now and then, the destructive power of her smile is immense. A subordinate once showed that if you prayed to her, your sickness would go away. It was an exaggeration, but she definitely made me feel better. All right, let's do our best this afternoon. Yes. Even if you summon the courage, every person has limits. I I'm back. Welcome back. You look pale. Are you okay? You look half melted. You know, the conference was just sluggish and long. Ugh, two thirds was probably a waste of time. Every time I tried to get back on topic, would end up discussing something pointless. That's terrible. Sorry for complaining. Pretend you didn't hear any of that, huh? If you say so, then I didn't hear anything. But we are a team, so I think complaints are normal. Wow, what an angel. That's an exaggeration. It's just that we have a bit of a problem. All of these approval documents and contracts need to be checked by you. It'll definitely wear you down. Oh my god, is this over today? Ideally, yes. Hmm. Okay, I'll try my best. Achoo! Hold on, Sekai-san. What? It's as I thought. You have a fever. Oh, I guess I have a cold. I did feel a little sluggish. It's almost the end of the day, so try to finish up quickly and get some rest. Oh, okay, thanks. Though I have a mountain of paperwork. Um... Huh? I understand your desire to be thorough, but will you let me help you today? How? I'll skim the documents and give them to you to stamp, and you can double check that there are no problems. Hmm. Other departments stamp without looking, so I figured doing this much is fine. But when the viewers get mad at us? I think they'd be more mad about you breaking the fourth wall. Alright, please help me a little today. If you could just check the numbers, that would be great. Got it. Alright, let's get started. An order for a basso company. No problems here. This seems fine. All of these are eternal to the department, so I think you can just press your stamp to these. Thanks. Are you sure? Huh? What? There might be a crazy document mixed in with everything. Ah, I trust you, so I'm sure it's fine. I quickly pressed my stamp to all the documents she handed to me. And finally, it was the end of the day. All done! Congrats. Should I give the documents to their responsible parties? That would help greatly. Please, let me rely on you today. Oh, my headache is worsened. I have to hurry home and go to sleep. <laughs> These materials are for you to take home. Uh, me? Kuroyoshi, with her angel-like smile, handed me a sheet. And on it was a contract to take a bath together? What is this? If you get your special bonus trip, you, Sakai Minato, and I, Kuroyoshi Miwa, agree to take a bath together. Hmm? What? You should head home now. We can talk details tomorrow. Wow, I have never seen her smile like this. No, I shouldn't be captivated by her. What is this, bathing with you? Shh, everyone's looking. So hurry up and recover quickly. Succumbing to her pressure, ugh, I went home. What was that contract? There was a lot to think about, but because I wasn't feeling well, I slept deeply. The next day, I was feeling much better, so I went to work. And of course, I called Kuroyoshi-san over. <coughs> I need an explanation. Do you know about the special bonus trip? You mean that the best employee gets two tickets of a vacation baggage? Yes, I am aiming for that. So if you get the bonus, please take me with you. Really? I'm so lucky! Wait, wait, wait. Um, okay, uh, what about the contract? It's exactly as it seems. There's a special bath included in the vacation package, so it's a contract that you will get in with me. I see. I still don't completely understand. And you made this document, correct? So that means you want to take a bath with me? Yes. Because I adore you. You what? Uh, can you say that again? I adore you. In other words, I'm in love with you. Ah, she's saying insane things with such a straight face. Is she confessing her feelings for me? Uh, can I ask you why? You just want me to tell you what I like about you? I will work on my presentation during the lunch break. Can you check it when I'm done? You don't have to go that far. Ah, she's not really one to joke about such a thing. Uh. Sorry, you must be surprised by this all of a sudden. Yeah, sorry. Thank you for telling me about your feelings. You can respond to me later. In any case, please help me try to get the holiday bonus. 
She was really firm, so all I could do was nod. Of course, the splendid Collie got the holiday vacation package and two tickets to the onsen. Sorry for keeping you waiting. What a beautiful inn. Well, the company prepared was a stay at Abato's onsen village at a place called Utano Ryokan. Apparently, it's really popular, so getting a reservation is hard. I see why it's popular. The room is really nice, too. Y yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous? Is this your first time at such a place? That's true. Her vibe is definitely different outside of work. She's still cool, but there's something innocent or cute. It's been over a month since she confessed, and I still can't believe a girl like her likes me. Let's relax and do some sightseeing and then have dinner. I mean, we are in a popular tourist destination. Let's go! While we were buying gifts and eating and walking, my nervousness fell away. This is really good. I want to give this to friends as a gift, but it's only fresh for a day. Yeah, I guess we should eat their worst, too. <laughs> Let's. She seems like she's having fun. The Kaiseki dinner was really delicious, so I asked for seconds for the first time in a long time. The onsen reservation is at 9 p.m. It's almost time. You're really gonna get in with me? I bought the contract. With a smile like that, the pressure is immense. <laughs> Let, let's talk. Go for it. I'm a single adult male. Yes, I know. And you are a charming woman. Thank you. A bath is a, a, a bath? Yes, a bath. Meaning, I don't know what to say, but uh, what if I made a move? Yes, that would be welcome. That's why I invited you. So straightforward. <laughs> is something wrong? I was just thinking how weird this all is, like the order or even the method. I know that. I'm not good with romance. I've spent most of my time working or studying, so even how to approach normally doesn't make sense to me. After considering a lot, I realized if I made a move, something was bound to happen. God, that thinking is brave. But I also think it's very cute. Huh? I like you too. After you told me you liked me, I spent a long time wondering why a wonderful person like you would like me. But I figured I'd throw such thinking away and date you. Sakai-san, thank you. Let's hurry up and get in the bath and deepen our love. What? No way. Why not? I feel like making a move in a bath would be kind of, uh, problematic. I see. I didn't realize holding hands in the bath would be a problem for the inn. Sorry for being ignorant. What? Holding hands? Yes. Also to make sure it isn't awkward, I brought my swimsuit. <laughs> Shoot! Why are you hitting yourself? What's wrong? I was slapping my perverted mind out. Huh. Wow, the water feels great. For sure. Because of the bathing suit and towels, it wasn't too nerve-wracking to bathe together. And I got to enjoy the bath. Adults wrap themselves in towels. Can I get closer to you? Y yeah. I'll tell you about what I said. I'm incredibly nervous. <laughs> it's a mixed sex bath. This is my first time. M me too. Is your heart racing? Yeah, of course. I'm a soul I like. Her flushed cheeks, her dripping hair. Anyone will recognize a charm. I'm so happy. I'm glad I work. Ah. Yoshi san! I'll get her some water. Please! The nerve wracking bath ended with her getting dizzy and fainting. Monday, everyone was smiling. Congratulations! Did anyone tell you? They didn't have to, it's obvious. You're dripping with love. Oh, don't tease me. It's fine because it wasn't like I was trying to hide it. Koyoshi san was surrounded by female co workers. I'm sure our lunchtime will be mostly discussing love. One year later, I found the most important document of my life. A marriage contract. I was trying to change the shower head. I'm such a klutz. I didn't want anybody to see me like this. You should get a dry set of clothes on. I don't know where to look! Wait, why are you wearing a kimono when the ryokan is closed? It boosts my motivation. Kimonos are the best. Seriously? She needs to get changed. I can't look straight at her. My name is Karu Suzuki. I'm a 26-year-old working at a bank in the countryside. Oh, Karu, you're here. That suit looks great on you. Hey, I told you not to call me that at work. Her name is Samika Hanasaki. She's my childhood friend. She owns Utano Ryokan, a traditional Japanese inn located in the Obato Hot Spring Town. Samika, you're wearing a suit. Hey, are you here for a loan? Yep. Uh, I need a little more help. 
about how hot spring town is considered traditional. Some people call it old-fashioned. Recently, I've been losing customers to new and fashionable hotels. Oh, what a shame. It's such a nice place. Don't worry. I'll bring back all the customers in no time. I vowed to become an Okami like my mother when she passed away. I'll never give up on that. Good. I'm rooting for you. I admire Samika for her positive mindset. She's always been like that since she was a child. A few days later, a 29-year-old woman came to the bank. This is Azumi Akamiya. She'll be working with us starting today. I look forward to working here. I'm sure my beautiful presence will benefit all of you. Ugh, she's pretty and she knows it. She's not my cup of tea, that I know for sure. I've always been the introverted type. I don't do well with bossy girls. Things are no different with Akamiya-san. Hey you, bland boy. You could finish this for me. No thanks. That's your job, Akamiya-san. How old did you say you were? 26. I may look younger, but I'm 29 years old. Do you understand what that means? I'm already sick of her. I glanced around to ask for help, but all my colleagues turned away. They weren't going to help me. The world has become such a cold place. <laughs> Akamiya-san was condescending, but I eventually got used to it. One day, I was walking down the hall when I heard a familiar voice. Please, I'm begging you. That sounds like Samika. Is she in this meeting room? Samika sounded desperate. I peeked into the meeting room to see what was going on. That goes against our loan agreement. How could I convince you to reconsider? Utano Ryokan. That's one of the Ryokans in that old hot spring town. We can't waste time and money on something not worth saving. But please, I need this loan. Apparently, Akumiya-san decided to decline Samika's application for a loan. I know Akumiya-san is in charge of Samika's case, but I can't let her do this. Hold on a second. Kaoru? Oh, bland boy, it's you. I'm here to ask you to reconsider as well. Yutana Ryokan is worth saving, I promise. Kaoru? Huh, I'll reconsider on one condition. Bland boy, you're in charge of raising occupancy at the Ryokan 200%. T 200 Will you do as I ask if I succeed? Do you promise? Well, duh. As long as it brings in the money, you have three months, bland boy. However, you have to leave the bank if you fail. I hate having losers around. It dampens the air. I understand. So, Mika, do I have your approval to do this? No way, Kadu! I would do anything to save the Ryokan, but this is my problem to fix. You can't get involved, Karu. Better answer means a lot to me too, Kari. I'm willing to do anything to help. Karu, thank you. What a wonderful friendship you guys have. You should get on with it, bland boy. I'll find a nice place for your farewell party. Akumiya-san shouldn't have the right to make such decisions. I don't know how she convinced the others. She made arrangements for me to move out of the office. I was to stay at Utana Ryokan for three months to help raise profits. I'm sure we'll do great. Hmm, I haven't been here for a while. Nothing has changed. We repaired some of the parts of the Ryokan, but I wanted to keep the original image. Hey, I'm sorry for getting you involved in this. You have nothing to apologize for. Don't worry, we'll bring back all the customers in no time. Okay. First, we can start by changing some of the Japanese-styled rooms to Western-styled rooms. Some customers find futons uncomfortable. Having beds will help satisfy a wider variety of customers, including foreigners. You're right. We only have traditional Japanese-style rooms here. We can also plan events that customers can join in on. The hot spring needs a little update as well. Hmm. Kaoru, you're amazing! It's only been a few hours. Look how many ideas you have. I'm so glad you're here. You used to be such a scrawny little kid. Hey, don't bring up the past. I remember Samika used to defend me when my classmates picked on me at school. Karu, you're all grown up as well. Come on, we need results ASAP. We have no time to reminisce. <laughs> you're right. How about we shut down temporarily? That will give us a chance to completely change the place. A few days later, we asked every business owner in the hot spring town to attend a meeting at Utona Ryokan. It was our chance to explain our plans. We need to revive the place if we want to survive. All of us need to cooperate to bring back customers. 
We're begging you, please help us. What's the point of all this anyway? Please, the future of this town depends on this. Oh, relax. We got you. Raise your hands. Okay, account us in. God will punish us if we let you do all the work. We can bring the liveliness back in this town. Thank you. You have no idea what this means to us. We got this, Samika. Yep. Redecorating, rebuilding, it'll cost a lot of money. However, we didn't have much to spare. That's why we asked the employees to help us do whatever amateurs could handle. I have some time on my hands. I could lay down some tiles in the bath area. Huh? What? Samika? Samika, what's wrong? Oh, Karu, uh, that was fast. S Samika? I was trying to change the shower head. I'm such a klutz. I didn't want anybody to see me like this. Y you should get a dry set of clothes on. I don't know where to look! Wait, why are you wearing a kimono when the Ryokan is closed? It boosts my motivation. Kimonos are the best. Seriously? Ugh, she needs to get changed. I can't look straight at her. We worked hard for many days, and finally, the day of the Ryokan's reopening arrived. We've made sure every room is clean, and the preparations for the guest meals are done. We'll be okay. I know we'll be okay. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. We'll be okay. We'll be fine. Your chant is making me uncomfortable, Samika. Take a breath, okay? We've had positive comments online and reservations are full, see? But, what? I mean, this is our last chance. I would be scared if I were her. Samika! K Karu? It'll be okay. We've worked hard for this. Look into my eyes. I want you to trust my words. Oh. Gah, that was so out of character. Uh, you see, it was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Thanks, Karu. I believe you. We'll be okay. I know you're curious about how things turned out. It was a huge success. Abato Hot Spring Town became one of the hot springs in the area. Samika is still working hard as the Okami of Utana Ryokan. I'm pretty confident we'll reach our goal by the end of three months. Fingers crossed. It was all thanks to the hard work everybody put in. But there is another reason. Yo, Kauro, this place is bustling, man! Tomonaga. His name is Tomonaga. I met him back when we were both students. He uploads videos on his YouTube channel whenever he goes on trips. His channel has over a million subscribers. He's a popular YouTuber now. I asked Tomonaga to visit the Ryokan before its reopening. Tomonaga, that video you uploaded? It were like a charm. Thanks for inviting me. I've always wanted to come here. A bottle hot spring town has a long history. I love how you incorporated themes and what attracts younger generations. Yeah, I'm glad my hard work seems to have paid off. So, why are you here today? Are you shooting a video? That too. But I wanted to see the Hot Springs Town Idol again. Huh? You know what I'm talking about. I'm sure most of the customers here visited to get a glimpse of the beautiful Okami here. <laughs> That's true. I glanced down at Tomonaga's video comment page. The majority of the comments were about Samika. Everyone here is dying to see Samika-chan. That's who they're here for. I agree. You don't seem too happy about it. Well, I mean, I don't like seeing the girl I like surrounded by men. <laughs> You're an honest man, Kaoru. After saying bye to Tomonaga, I had customers to attend to and interviews to prepare for. It was a hectic day. Ugh, I'm drained. Kodu, I'm coming in. What's up? Aren't you tired? You haven't taken a break. I wanted you to see this. Ta-da! The Ryokan's reservations are full for the next six months! That's amazing! I never thought this would go well. <sighs> don't get me wrong, it's not like I didn't trust you, Kadu. Don't worry, I know you didn't mean that. It's all a lot more than any of us expected. You're right, I don't know what to do. I'm so happy about all this. Uh, Samika? I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Kadu. That's not true. Samika, this all happened because of you. I'm so happy for you, really. Customers kept rolling in. We reached our goal in no time. I, you've got to be joking. There's no way that old Ryokan could become so popular. It's because Suzuki-kun has a good eye. Akumiya-kun, I hope you take this lesson and put it to good use in the future. Uh, I apologize. Akumiya-san, I hope you keep your promise to us. 
I know, I know. Fine, I'll get on with the paperwork. Oh, thank you. Thank God things turned out well. I left Utah and Ryokan and came back to the bank. Sumika so texts me often to tell me that the Ryokan is doing well. She hired more employees, which means she doesn't have to carry all the burden alone. We made plans to eat dinner. This place looks expensive. Are you sure? I didn't bring much today. Eh, don't worry about it. I brought enough for both of us. I wanted to celebrate the Ryokan's success. Dinner is on me tonight. I should be the one paying for you. So I wanted to ask, why did you help me? You could have gotten fired. I've always wanted to do something to pay you back. For what? Well, back when we were kids, you always had my back when the other kids messed with me. You had my back and it meant a lot to me. I don't remember. Did I really do that? I know you remember. Samika, you've always been kind-hearted and thoughtful towards others. I've always had feelings for you, Samika. I care for you. Huh? That's why I'll do anything for you if you ever need help. I vowed to myself that I would. Kaoru, I had no idea that you thought that way. That's so sweet. I'm so grateful for all you've done, Kaoru. You put your job on the line for me. If it's okay with you, can you stay by my side like you always have? Of course, I'm always here for you. I won't leave you if you beg me to. I'm in love with you, Samika. I love you too, Karu. Someone's applauding. Congrats! Tomonaga? My best friend's happy ending. All caught on my phone. Hey, I never permitted you to shoot. In the end, I quit my job at the bank. Now I'm studying management at Utana Ryokan. It's so rewarding to see all the customers satisfied with our service. You know, I really hope that they come back soon. Me too. But we still have a lot to work on. There's always room for improvement. I want this place to be loved for the next 10. No, 30. Wait, 100 years. You know, we'll need children for that dream to come true. Uh, well... Hey, why are you turning bright red, Karu-chan? I found out Samika was unexpectedly bold after we got married. It was a pleasant surprise for me. Time get passing on. Yay, this is a great reunion! I'll be back soon! We'll be waiting for you. Eh? Hey, using that photo? They're the two owners from two generations ago. These two saved the hot spring town. They're a legend here. So that's the result. If I had the data from five years ago, I would be able to do better analysis. The one participating in the conference is me. Mino Naomasa. I turned 25 and was finally given some jobs that require a little discretion. This result is meaningless! I thought we would get more useful information out of this! That's your fault for erasing the old data! The thing but to keep quiet is precisely what an adult does. To just go on smiling is a skill I gained after joining the company, though I didn't want to. There's no information for us to analyze, so there's no point in being sad. Let's think of ways we can use Minokun summarized data. She's supporting me! That's great. The one with a gentle smile is Hirokata Sayuri. She's a 28-year-old on her way to the top. Just as her name suggests, she has a lovely, sweet vibe like a like a lily. And heals those around her, but Yeah, but we want more useful data. Uh-oh. Whoops! Saw the switch flipped! Hey, you guys are the reason we can't get good data. If you guys are going to criticize him, how about you go back in time and recover the data? Oh god, sorry! We were wrong, so please calm down! Thank you for understanding. And with that, the conference is over. Wow, the gap is immense. The warmly smiled harakata san was a former childhood delinquent. She was rehabilitated into society when she graduated high school and then entered into a really prestigious school, according to her resume. Every now and then, truly every now and then, her tough personality comes out. She's one of the top contributors in the company, so it hasn't become a big issue. Today, Hirakata-sama was so cool! It was so great to finally have a chance to witness her being tough! Oh, she has fans. That's amazing. I guess it is refreshing to see. The first time I saw her tough side was right after I entered the company. <laughs> There's a weird sound coming from the conference room. I should check it out. Do you understand? Yes! She isn't pushing him against the wall in a romantic way, but a scary way. Wait, is that Hiragata-san? 
you shouldn't be asking someone who just entered the company to do overtime. Not to mention trying to tell them it's obviously going to be unpaid overtime. If a boss says something as idiotic as that, the company will crumble. Is that what you want? She's so scary. Was that really Hirakata-san? And it wasn't just someone who looked a lot like her? Oh, did you see a tough side? Tough side? A lady as neat and orderly as her is a tough side? It's weird, right? Well, it only happens every now and then, so don't be too worried about it. Not to mention, she only gets mad at, uh, unreasonable people. Exactly. She's got a scary vibe, but everything she is saying is correct. Right. Don't give overtime to someone who just joined the company. Was she fighting for me? I don't have the courage to ask her why, but starting from that day, I never got asked to do overtime again. Even this last conference, she was supporting me. Hirakata-san always gets mad at other people. Even if I understand, it doesn't stop it from being scary. In any case, I should thank her. Hirakata-san, uh, thank you for earlier. What are you talking about? For defending me at the meeting. Oh, yeah, no worries. It wasn't anything like that. I just got mad. Sorry for scaring you. I'll be quieter next time I'm angry. <laughs> what? Uh, saying that is also scary. Oh, I see. I'll make sure to not get angry. I'll work my best to make sure the conditions to make you angry don't happen. <laughs> I like her face when she looks like this. Really ladylike. Am I still making a scary face? Oh god, I, I was looking too much! Not at all. I was just thinking how beautiful you looked. Why are you telling her the truth? <laughs> wow, she really is like a lily. Thank you. Is my heart racing because I'm in love or I admire her? I don't know, but it's clear that I like her. In the middle of the summer, Hirakata-san and I will call to the boss's office. A business trip? Whoa, my first one! You'll be starting a new project with the Barto Company. So, I recommended you two for the project. A new project? Thank you so much. So, please make some light preparations. Uh, Mino-kun, please arrange the bullet train tickets and hotel reservations. Uh, no problem. I'll look for the hotel. Really? But this is a subordinate's job. This is your first business trip, right? So please watch and learn from me. But, Mino Goon, do what she says! Boss, aren't you a little, uh, too afraid of her? Okay, got it. Thanks so much. Let's have a good trip. Yeah, an employee was supposed to pick us up at the nearest station to a bottle company. Yeah, <sighs> it's hot, isn't it? Are you gonna get mad? How can I get mad at the sun? Hey, why is everyone staring at us? Do I have sweat stains? No, you don't. She's being looked at because she's so beautiful. No one would ever believe she used to be a delinquent. Hirokato and Minu-san? I'm from Mabato Company. Sorry to keep you waiting. We didn't wait that long. Nice to meet you. Wow. Oh, it's being knocked out by her smile. The preparations went well. The person we'll be working with seemed easygoing. Though he stared at Hirokato-san the whole time. This is your first meeting with the branch company. You must be exhausted. Before I knew it, I actually felt invigorated. Oh, then how about we head back to the hotel and together we can... Hirakasa-san, Minu-san, dinner preparations have been made, so please come. Did you just click your tongue? Did I? I think you must have misheard. Oh, that's good. I was worried your angry side might come out. Though, how could you get mad about being invited to dinner? Th that's true. It's not like I thought they were getting in our way. In the way? The restaurant is over here. <sighs> Let's go. Okay. The branch company chose a restaurant with a relaxed vibe. It being my first business trip and all, I was pretty tired with everything. So this was a nice place. I'm so glad I get to work with someone as beautiful as you. Please, let me rely on you. Thank you. He is also great, so I'm looking forward to working together. <laughs> Thank you. The branch person keeps only talking to Hirokata-san. But she keeps talking to me. She must have noticed. I'm so glad. Where is your hotel? Oh, um, what was the name? I'll check the reservation email. Let me see. Oh, this is close by. The bed's already big and you can sleep really well. I've heard. Huh? What's wrong? This is a reservation for only one room with a double bed. Oh. What? It's not only a single room, but a double bed instead of two twins? Well, I must have messed up, but there's nothing we can do now. It's okay, right? Isn't it bad for opposite sexes to share a room? 
Well, we've already made the reservation. Oh, uh, don't worry. Why not? My friend actually works at the hotel. I'll ask them to change the room for you. Can we really ask you for that favor? Right, irakata san Huh? I feel like you seem irritated. <laughs> not at all. I'll make the phone call. A few minutes later, the single room was changed into two rooms. Now she can also rest easily too. Plans are ruined. Can I get a glass of wine? Yes, I'll get one for you. Does she usually drink this much? I guess it's fine since she doesn't seem drunk. After that, we went to the hotel he chose for us. Wow, I can't believe it's not a key card. It's an old hotel, but I'm glad it's so beautiful. You really chose a nice place. Yeah, I'm grateful that it's a regular key. She must hate key cards. This is my room. Good night. I'm next door. Good night. I should do something about that pesky meddler. What should I do now? <sighs> it was fun, but I'm tired. It's early, but I guess I'll go to sleep. <sighs> I can't eat anymore. Excuse me. <laughs> He's sleeping well. Originally, I wanted to pray while we slept next to each other. But I'm glad I got to see his sleeping face. What should I do now? I'm already here. Would it be terrible if I gave him a kiss? Hmm? I feel like I can sense someone. Maybe it's a dream. A kiss isn't allowed, right? We might end up doing more, but I can't just return back to my room. <laughs> Wait, this voice, is, is that... Hirakata san? What is she doing here? Though I was confused, let's pretend to be sleeping. His sleep talking is so cute. I can't control myself. Surely I can kiss his forehead. Kiss? Don't do that. Oh my god, you were awake. Of course I would wake up. How did you even get in here? I locked the door, didn't I? Oh, it's just a little skill I got from my delinquent days. It's not a little skill. Whether you are good or bad, do not copy her. It is a crime. You can report me. I knew it was a possibility, and I still wanted to see your sleeping face. Why are you saying that while smiling like an angel? Uh, I'm exhausted from this whole thing. Can I have a little break? Yeah, sorry. While I drank some water, she sat meekly on the bed. She looks nice in her yakata. How can someone that looks like that do this? All right, can we talk about it? I'll confess. I purposely booked a single double bedroom. What? Why? Because I wanted to spend the evening with you. But that pesky little rat had to change the hotel! Calm down! You're gonna destroy the room! <laughs> Sorry for getting a little up in arms. In any case, I wanted to spend time with you. But why? Do I really have to say it? Huh? But I figured out what she means. Her bright red face, her pleading eyes with her slightly shaky voice. Could it be? Do you like me? Yes. I see. I'm glad. But you were also confused, right? Sorry, yeah, I'm more confused. <laughs> I like that part about you. <laughs> Even with a confession, you are still thinking about the other person. You really show you care about them. Yes, uh, let me be straight with you and confess how I feel. There's no doubt that I like you, but I'm worried it's just that I admire you. Oh, thank you. I'll wait for you. Thank you. I'll wait for you, too. Do I have to go back to my room? Yeah. The next day, the company person saw us off at the station. Thanks for everything. Let's work again sometime. Yes. Hold on a minute. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Just the two of us? Okay. Wait a bit, Minokun. Got it. I wonder what's going on. Work conversation? Hirokata san, what did you want to talk about away from everybody? Is it that you have feelings for me? Hey. Oh my god! The next time you get in my way, I won't let you get off scot-free. I have no idea what you're talking about, but okay! Sorry for keeping you waiting. Welcome back. Huh? What happened? Oh, nothing. Huh? After that, as you guys can guess, I started dating Hirokata-san. It was impossible not to love a person as beautiful as her. One weird thing is that all the girls in the office started running away from me. Did I do something? If we are seen with you, we are worried that Hirakata-san might get jealous and do something. I don't think you have to worry about that. He really doesn't get it. I risk my life by going to work. 